On behalf of my partner, Shane Weinstock, and myself, Chad Matting, I would like to thank you for being here today. This report is being prepared for the management of the Dedman Center for Lifetime Sports at Southern Methodist University. We have been tasked with providing general usage of the facility in the form of entry data. The main goal will be to use ID swipes as a response variable to assist in hiring patterns for facilities uh, student staff. It's the goal of this report to assist in the spotting of trends and thus correctly identifying the staffing needs. Forecasting and general knowledge about the building usage will also assist in budget needs. The data provided to us has been collected from three turnstiles at the Dedman Center for Lifetime Sports at the campus of uh, Southern Methodist University. Um, we did also collect uh, weather data from uh, NOAA for the same time period to assist in forecasting. In helping us access the staffing needs, we wanted to get a snapshot of the general usage of the facilities. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday had the highest entries. In addressing the first uh, condition of stationarity, there does um, appear to be a dip in the traffic in the summer of 2019 and uh, other steering brakes. Overall, there does not appear to be a strong evidence that the mean is changing with time. We found the weekly rolling mean to be uh, 934, and it was almost equal to the data sets mean of 929, which is one more bit of information pointing to uh, the mean not being dependent on time. There is some evidence that the variance changes slightly over time, but the evidence doesn't seem strong enough to reject the possibility that the series is stationary based on the second condition. And when we look at the first and the second half of the ACF for this realization, uh, the correlation structure appears to be very similar. This would uh, mean that the correlations between the points only depend on how far apart they are and not where they are in time. Which, because of this, uh, we will um, get, move forward as it being stationary. There is a little bit of seasonality in the data and we'll address that in the models. As seen in the partisan window on the last slide, um, we're gonna, we opted to remove a factor of one minus B to the seventh for this. On our first model, we're checking for a weekly trend. Um, and you can see in the factor tables here, uh, the original um, factor of our data is on top and it matches the factor table of seven down to the bottom. So after we did that, you can see uh, that we ended up with some fairly uh, white noise after it was over. And then after that, we ran the AIC5 and ended up with a 1.7. The model above here is depicted in the graph over here to the left. And you can note that the 1 minus B to the 7th has been removed. And the model generally follows the trend. And then we ended up with an ASC of a fairly high. It didn't perform uh, quite as well as the other ones. In our first neural network, we used uh, the default settings just to see what uh, would turn out. And this in uh, initial model returned fewer lags with several inputs. Um, this model used five regressors and contained five hidden nodes and uh, it was a bit more complex in the ARIMA, but did perform better. The red line indicates uh, the predictions in both graphs below and the black represents the, the data itself. It may be difficult to see, but we do have a closer fit and the data's actual trend. And the ASC for this one is better. Uh, we did notice though that uh, there was still some correlation left. And so we're gonna maybe able to fit this better by adding some parameters. For our third model, we decided to use weather data in correlation with the ID swipe data. And after adding temperature, relative humidity, and days of the week and dew point, uh, we ended up getting a much more accurate model. This model appeared to capture the trend at the best and produce the lowest ASE. Some of the repetition in gray is a bit extreme. However, under different seeds, it was not always the case. It seems that through the uh, ACF, you can also tell that less correlation and additional lags are also uh, satisfied through the model. Also reflected in our low ASE on this one. 
our fourth model was the VAR model. And to improve the efficiency of it, we wanted to attempt to detect to see if there was any uh, lags that we might can use. And it looks from these plots that uh, we'd be able to expect to use approximately eight lags. Even after adding the temperature data, we were able to get the ASC a bit better, but it never performed as well as the third model. Next, we wanted to uh, look at combining this model with our other one and see what we could get. For our fifth model, we wanted to see how an ensemble worked of the top models. By combining the VAR and the neural network, we applied the most accurate prediction of the mean with the best accurate prediction of our trend. And this produced the best ASC at 124,000. You can see here, this green is uh, its prediction. Our first model developed an accurate uh, seasonal trend, but had difficulty applying to the model. The second model showed a trend through the same variable used in the ARIMA, but uh, with a slightly better accuracy. And our third model, we noticed uh, different variables helped us um, in the trend, slightly better satisfied our um, correlated variables. The VAR model helped us best um, in predicting the mean of our data, but was not as good as forecasting. And finally, by combining the best models, uh, the mean and the best models of the trend, we developed our most accurate model um, throughout uh, through the ensemble. So we found that there was definitely seasonal patterns in the data, which we have attempted to accommodate through our uh, domain knowledge of the Dedman Center. Uh, this could better assist with additional data over several years and uh, appears our trend is mostly annual with our data only consisting of one year. The ultimate goal uh, is to be able to predict facility usage and continue to estimate the student staffing needs. We did observe that the trends mostly returning in our data from the nine month cycle. Uh, we were able to detect that the facility's usage would soon decline again and staffing could be adjusted to respect that. Our forecast of uh, 14 days could be repeated or, or extended with additional data and staffing could be reflected on a weekly basis.